I've been at the club for 10 years. I think the sensible decision at the end of the year is to make that. You know, the club's got to be happy with the next coach, whether that's me or whoever that may be. But equally, I love coaching at the moment, but I'm, I'm not silly either. I know where it sits. The players haven't bought as much as what we thought they would in that energy and that intensity consistently. It, it fluctuates. Oppo would look at us in their preparation and say, look, you know, start really hard, start fast, and maybe put us on the back foot. I feel as comfortable as you can be in a senior coaching role. Comfortable for another world. I'm just confident in what we've done and, and where I think we can get to. We can't hide from the fact that the results haven't been what we want. I get that everyone would be equally as frustrated as I am. I've been around a long time and I understand that the frustrations get big at times like these, but they can quickly disappear if you can just turn things around. Obviously nowhere near the standard at the moment, inability to sustain effort and intensity, work rates not there at the moment, you know the season's really and surely slipping away, we've got to find a way. Only a quarter of the way through the home and away season and yet the pressure on some coaches, it builds up very fast, Caroline Wilson, where do you think of when you think about coaches under pressure, do you start at the Giants and... Leon Cameron? I, I began this season absolutely convinced that by the end of the season, Alistair Clarkson would be coaching the Gold Coast. And I, despite what people at the Gold Coast have been saying, I believe that is the AFL's preference, and I think it's something that Alistair Clarkson has definitely entertained. But, and, and as I say, nothing has changed from that view. But I, I look at GWS at the moment, the a, AFL's other expansion club, who've obviously been a but far more successful, very, very successful outfit, really, who were clearly coming to the end of their time with Leon Cameron. And it's becoming untenable, Matthew, at um, GWS at the moment. You've got a CEO in Dave Matthews who I think has lost faith in Leon Cameron. I, I'm, I'm told that um, it was put to me by some, somebody very close to the club that um, Leon has been frozen out and that there's barely... Well, this is what Nathan Buck... Let's listen to what Nathan Buckley said about his final weeks at Collingwood. He was talking about Leon Cameron as well. So, for me, it was a really open and honest conversation with Graham Wright. It stung. It's, it absolutely stung because I was what probably the last one I wanted to let go. Like, a, you sort of believe that you're always capable. The way he handled that was with ultimate respect and, and for betterment of the club. So he went on to say that those open and honest conversations he's sure are going on at the moment at the Giants. I'm not sure they are. I don't think the relationship between Leon Cameron and Jason McCartney is what it, the footy boss is what it could be. Who's, who's dropped it down? Who's, who's lifted the drawbridge and we're not talking? Well, you, you know what it's like to be sacked as a coach. Yeah, yeah. And um, it it's been put to me by <laughs> other coaches. That, and, that, and, and you had your, your story about Peter Bell and the last game, yeah, etc. Yeah. But by other coaches that when the CEO stops being your mate and talking to you, you know that the writing's on the wall. Yeah, yeah. The and that's where, that's where it's at. at the, so, so where I'm getting to with GWS is that do they want Alistair Clarkson? And if they do... Something has to happen quickly. I think it is, it is becoming untenable See, at that footy I, I, club. I don't yeah. think there was a terrible performance against St Kilda, but I honestly believe everyone knows they're coming to the end of the road with Leon Cameron. Lots of changes at that football club. What I would club. like to happen if that's... And I think Leon's mature enough. Behind closed doors, Clarkson's available. You've been here, is it 10 years? Your grand final prelim, an incredible expansion team. But we are going after him if we can get him. But we want to give you the courtesy of respect in that we'll support... I think he would Do you appreciate think that would happen? the conversation. You don't want to even fight. Is it realistic? Do you even need to yeah, have that's Clarkson, realistic. Don't you just say we're, oh, we're we've come to the end? You know? yeah. So, my situation was you want to write your own story. So, first half of the year, we were flying. We were fifth on the ladder. We'd been four of the top five. So, I was trying to write my own story. Did I understand it would have been nice for me to go? But I was like, mm, we'll just win. So, it wasn't until we fell off in the back eight games, and it was only with one game to go that we couldn't realistically make the finals. And then what? Then, then the boom comes. So I was in a... But this is round six. And, it, we've been and, and I'm about telling it you, weeks. the atmosphere at that footy club is not what it should be, not, not what good. it has been. Yeah. Other big changes happening. Tony Shepard, the stalwart of that footy club, I understand is probably going to step down at the end of the year. Vice President um, Adrian Fonseca, I think, is going to take over. Big change there. Dave Matthews is going nowhere. A lot of people have done great things at that footy club, but it's not working. That the premiership didn't happen. Maybe they should have won one, maybe they shouldn't have. I think 
uh, given what they've been up against. I think Leon's done a brilliant job. Yeah, superb. The one, but, one thing I'll say, Carrie, is the moment you know you're going to be no longer, it's amazing how many coaches say they make a decision on a coach and he says, but I'm going to coach till the end of the year. Within one, one to two weeks, they've walked because it just becomes untenable. I'm concerned for the mental health. It's a lonely yeah. job anyway yeah, yeah. at the top. It's a lonely yeah. job well, being a leader and a senior coach. It's pretty lonely for Let Leon alone, Cameron with some of his if, superiors if at the moment. If what you're I saying, that, you. that's an indictment. The leaders need to get to him and support him. Because the mental health, it's hard enough being an AFL coach, let alone thinking you see on your footy opera. I'd be devastated Sorry, if that could, was could, the case. Can I just clear this up, Carrot? You're saying that Dave Matthews and Jason McCartney basically aren't talking to the coach? No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. There's conversations, but the relationship is not in any way what it was. Tension. And, and, and I'm just told that it is, it is more of a freezing out situation. And if that is right, uh, it filters down to players too. It filters right down well, that can yeah. affect performance. And well, it filters down coaches. to the players when, when the CEO yeah. and the coach both said, we're not going to talk about the contract yeah, till the end exactly of the right. year. I mean, mm. I said this a few weeks ago. So, And then you've got the situation at North Melbourne, which, you know, is, is David... No, I hate to say it, but maybe he'll last another season after this one, but there are big question marks there. And We don't some... know enough about whether David Noble's going to be the right coach or not. No, They're stripping no, this it, right back. It's far too early. But Very different signs, situation, yeah, isn't it? Chris Fagan was 0-8, I think, in his second season. So I'm, I'm not writing off David Noble, but I'm telling you there are doubts. And then you've got um, Ken Hinckley. You say you're, you're out, you're done, no, you're not going to coach again. Yeah. Can, I, can I just say something on Kenny, though? Out of all the teams we're talking about, He's the one that hasn't done much wrong. Like They didn't kick straight. They could have beat Brisbane. Mm. I think they're in the, the best shape of fighting, and, whereas the others look cooked. Whereas Kenny, I think, is a little bit different. I think Ken, if he does go, will definitely get another chance. I believe Leon Cameron should as well. What about you? Yeah, well, it's hard for me to judge. It's about your passion and commitment to the job. That, that's it, because it's no a high doubt energy, high no demand. Doubt he's passionate. He wants to and coach. If they, if they want to coach again, but there are some great young assistants. And until you get opportunities, you've seen McRae making a fist of it, but it's over the long term. So you hate to lose the experience to the game. So if we were to lose Kenny Hinckley and Leon Cameron out of the game totally, it's a big vacuum of experience mm. going out. And Sam, I know we're moving on. Massive month for the Suns. A huge month for them. Two and four again. Uh, Pies at the MCG, the Swans at the SCG, Fremantle at Metricon, Ooh. and the Bulldogs here. And so, they have been competitive. Yeah. So they need to win two of those. Yeah. At least, yeah. They need to win but at least two of those. it might be, Leon. They can't run out of second half. We'll get to it later. Maybe it's a conditioner. Maybe he needs to go. Yep. And they came back from, was it, one and four last year to yeah. make the 